Hello students, I'm going to show you how to use addition and subtraction strip diagrams, like how to determine the difference between the two. I'm going to freehand this so it may not be as straight as I would want, but I want you to see the difference between the two. All right, so here I'm making what you call a strip diagram, and you may also know it as a part, part, whole. You may have learned that in the younger grades, okay? Now, in addition, addition is whenever you put two parts together to make a whole. So I'm going to make something very basic, a ba very basic number. And let's say that um, I have the numbers 10 and this one would be uh, 40. OK. Then this part right here would be the missing one. This strip diagram is what you would consider an addition strip diagram. And the reason why is because in addition, you are looking for the whole. You're looking for the total. This right here is your whole, your total. These are your parts. So in addition, you're putting together the parts to find the total, to find the whole, okay? So this strip diagram represents addition. As a matter of fact, we'll put that note there to remind ourselves that the top part is the whole, and the whole is also known as the total or the sum, okay? So that is what this part is. This part will be the whole or the total, okay? And that's why we don't know it because in addition, that's what you're trying to find, the whole, the total. Then we have subtraction. And subtraction, here's our strip diagram, and I'm actually gonna use those same numbers, but it's gonna look different. Now it's not exactly straight, but we're getting the idea. So for this one, let's say I have 50 here, and I have, oh, 40 here, but I am missing this little part, okay? Now we know what it is because of fact families, but if you were just to see this, you would know that th this strip diagram represents subtraction. So this strip diagram represents subtraction. And the reason why is because you're given the whole in total, but you're missing a part. Because in subtraction, you're not putting together, you're not composing, you're taking away from a whole, from a total, okay? So when you see a strip diagram that is giving you the whole, but you're missing a part, that is subtraction. So that is how you can determine if a strip diagram is for addition or for subtraction. Again, in addition, you have the parts, but you're missing the whole. See the question mark? In subtraction, you're given the whole or the total, but you're missing a part. You don't have both parts because you're not composing. You're decomposing. You're taking apart. That is how you can determine the difference between an addition and subtraction strip diagram.